In mid-April 2023, I moved down the KZN coast, traveling about 20 kilometers to Umten 20 Caravan Park. The interior of South Africa is freezing cold in winter, so I'm spending the winter months on the south coast, next to the Indian Ocean, which is a much warmer part of the country. In about October 2023, I'll head north to spend a year or so in the northeast of South Africa and then move into other African countries like Botswana, Malawi, Zambia, Kenya, Tanzania, and who knows where else. My site was quite large with a nice mixture of shade and sunshine. The rates in winter 23 were 2,000 Rand per month for single people, and that's retired people, I believe, like me, and 2,500 Rand for two retired people. You have to pay extra for electricity, which you buy and enter a code onto a number pad. This raises the price by around 500 Rand a month in 2023. The way ESCOM increases their prices, who knows what electricity will cost in five years' time. I wish caravan park owners would wise up and install solar systems. It would save them a lot of money and it would save us campers a lot of money too. And the caravan parks would be very well attended through the off seasons, so everybody will be happy. The days here are lovely and warm in winter, shorts and t-shirt weather. When the sun goes down though, you have to go off and fetch some warmer clothing. It gets cold pretty quickly, or cool I should say. The nights are quite cool and that's great for sleeping. There are very few mosquitoes and other bugs around in winter, so that's also very, very nice. The caravan park is very safe. It has an electric gate and is surrounded by high fencing. I didn't see or hear anything that might alarm me. I didn't see any snakes or spiders and I didn't hear of any alarm signals from other caravanners. The park is right next to a very busy road and while this is very convenient, the road is very noisy. There's a petrol station right next door and the little shop at the gas station is very useful to pop into for milk or bread or some other item that you may have run out of. There are plenty of liquor stores in the area. The park is pet friendly and there was no extra charge for my cat. There are peacocks and a small horse in the park and the monkeys come around every day and generally there's a very pleasant atmosphere here. The river is very shallow. There are no fish to catch. A chap with a fish finder on his canoe told me that he saw one small fish on his fish finder traveling from the river mouth to quite far up the river. But the river is pretty with plenty of bird life and is a lovely attraction. There's a swimming pool at the top of the park which will be very useful in the warmer months. The beach is about 2 kilometers down the road, or about 800 meters down the river if you want to go by canoe. Canoes are available to monthly caravanners at no charge from the caravan park, which is very, very nice. It's an okay little beach with a rundown little shop to buy some chips or an ice cream if the machine's working, which it doesn't happen very often and some very nice little rock pools to paddle in. The caravan park sites are generally flat and shaded with the usual caravan connections for electricity and water close to each site. The water here is drinkable from the tap and my 30 meter electricity cord reached the distribution box easily. The ablutions here are not good. They're old and they're dark and they're in need of an urgent upgrade. This brings the rating of the park down considerably. There is a laundry with three washing machines and some tumble dryers, but once again the machines are old and rusty and the laundry room is awful, in very bad condition. A load of washing costs 30 rand on a self-service basis. There's a small play area for children and a boma and braai area for communal barbecues, both of which are close to the river. Television reception on my site was not good due to trees blocking the signal and I had to run the cable to my DSTV dish through the hedge and put the dish in an open area next door and then it worked perfectly. Internet reception is excellent throughout the park. There is no Wi-Fi supplied by the park. The park is quite protected from the wind. I did have two nights of strong winds which buffeted the tent and caravan but there was no damage. I often wonder about a tree or a large branch blowing down and landing on my car 
or on my caravan who would be liable to get the whole thing fixed. But so far in four years of living in the caravan, nothing has gone badly wrong. There's a very nice spa about two kilometers away and the town of Port Shepston is five kilometers away. I generally enjoyed my stay at Umtun 20 Caravan Park. Unfortunately, my neighbor, a guy called Peter, was the local gossip. He ran off and reported everything to the park manager and he wasn't averse to making up lies or twisting the truth just for a little bit of excitement in his life, if there was nothing else to report. You occasionally get this sort of idiot in caravan parks and it reflects very badly on the park and also on one's memory of the stay there. When I was there, this caravan park felt a bit like an old aged home for the poor. And that's not where I want to be. My rating for this park is 5 out of 10. If the ablutions and laundry were upgraded and the gossiping idiot wasn't there anymore, my rating would go up to about a 7 out of 10. It's really not a bad place. But at this moment, there's a lot of improvement to be made. <laughs>